Hey guys, welcome back to the This Is Tools Skate Shop YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to tell you everything there is to know about axles. There's an entire history, there's a few different uh, nuances like thickness, length, what tools you use, and so there's a, a whole different spectrum of type of axles. If you want to learn more about that topic, watch this video and I'll tell you everything about it. First off, as always, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, history. Um, the, the skate in its modern incarnation is something like this, the, the Rollerblade TRS that's sitting on the table right here. It's a skate from the 80s. And before that, there was actually a Dutch company making a, uh, making a brand called the Skeeler. So Skeeler is not the name of the, of the sport in Dutch. Some people call it like that, but it's actually an old school Dutch uh, skate brand and it's quite funny to see what type of axles they used the first axles they were just like piece of hardware that you could buy in any hardware shop so it was just like a, a bolt with something bolted on uh, and you can see that clearly with this skeeler skate right here that uh, it's just a regular hardware so we'll get back to the 80s uh, here is the the skate that's used and then you see that it's a, a regular bolt with a regular nut on it. And in later editions, you can like see that morphing and you see that the nut part changed uh, to, to a more like modern version. So that's kind of like the, the history part. And right now what's on the market is there's two different types. There's the one type that you use to screw in the frame itself. So this one is used for metal frames that has a thread tapped into the frame itself so it's only used for metal frames with a screw in it then the other version is mainly used for plastic frames and it has a screw head on both sides so this is mostly found in children's skates or aggressive skates that have plastic frames and then of course there's a few special edition uh, axles which are not very common that i'm gonna highlight that more the end of this video after talking about like the general specs so what type of differences are there for these two different uh axles that i just talked about of course you have the thickness you have the length and you have the type of tool you use to unscrew them first i'm going to talk about the thickness if you're an adult skater basically means that you want to have an eight millimeter axle uh, the eight millimeter is also the the inside diameter of the bearing that sits within the wheel the bearing makes the wheel roll and um, all modern good quality skate, uh, skates have like eight millimeter axles so that's the type you want then there's also six and 6.3 millimeter axles the 6.3 millimeter is kind of like the the global standard for Deep skates and for children's skates and also old school skates have them as well and then uh, six millimeter is only used by the roaches brand if you have a skate with a six or 6.3 millimeter axle then you also need a different type of bearing spacer to fill up the room between the axle and the bearing and this is a, a bearing spacer that goes through over the whole length of the wheel um, it works fine but these but slimmer axles, they cannot handle all the stress that uh, an adult puts on a, on a skate. So those are the three different type of thicknesses there are. Now let's talk about length. Because there's actually a big variety in, uh, in length. And for me, for a long time, it was kind of like a puzzle on how to measure it. Um, like I said, there's two different types of axles. And for both types of axles, the way that we're gonna measure it is on the outside of the frame so if you have a frame like this on the outside wall that's gonna be the length that you uh, that you need and if you buy on our website thisisol.com or come to the store here of course which we have in Amsterdam 
and you need to have the right type of uh, axle just know that you, know, you need to measure the outside walls of your of your frame and then you can select on our website uh, the the right length and this goes for both the the the, the metal type axles as the for the plastic frame type axles for the metal type axles this implies that it's the entire length of the uh, entire thing and for the plastic frame type axles it implies that it's the length within the screw heads the difficult part of this is that um, uh, for the plastic uh, frame axles um, they are kind of like a little bit flexible so what we're gonna do on our website is not just list the the length that they are but the length that they can be from the maximum length as the the minimum length because especially for these type of axles there's a wide variety of um, uh, of options because some frame walls are really slim and some frame walls are really wide and uh, it's just hard to find a good matching one if you don't uh, have these dimensions listed almost all axles are able to be unscrewed with a four millimeter standard allen key you get a free allen key with your skate if you buy them on thisisol.com uh, if you buy an ikea furniture i think you also get like an, a four millimeter allen key with it so this is the type that you have probably floating around your house somewhere as well um, i do recommend get like a, a good quality uh, tool we have an entire video about tools if you want to learn more about the tools, check out that video because I tell you everything there is to know about tools there. Um, then there's also the Torx type of, of tool. And not a lot of frames actually are able to be unscrewed or like the wheels are able to be unscrewed with an, uh, a Torx right now, as of now. But I think this will change in the future because we have a lot of customers coming to our store here in Amsterdam and they have trouble with, with unscrewing their axles and uh just the the normal allen key holes they kind of like if you use them a couple times they get rounded they get kind of like worn out and then you cannot unscrew them anymore and then you have to uh, do all sorts of, of of efforts to 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 get your wheels out and it's a pain in the ass and if you have a torx you can like avoid this if you do have this problem that you cannot unscrew your axle we also have an entire video about that wow super cool Check out our YouTube channel again as, uh, as well for that video. I think it's uh, like a, a couple of weeks prior before we posted this video. So just uh, rush back in the, in the history. And there we teach you how to unscrew any uh, damaged screw head. And then there's just one more standard and that's the Phillips head standard. And um, like it's very rare to find any axles that use the Phillips head. Back in the, in, the, in the 80s and in the 90s, there were a few that still had that. But right now, it's uh, less than uh, oh, one out of 10,000 skates, I think, uh, has that. So it's not really relevant. So there's the, the general type of axle, which is kind of like the, uh, the Geyser Fluid or the 50-50 Balance Frame axle or uh, Ground Control, like used it uh, more like in the zeros type um, uh, it's it's a it's a screw head axle that uh, that has two similar heads it's symmetrical the the inside and the outside of, of the of the head is both round this is kind of like the standard in a way but it's also not the standard because most brands made their own axles by now and they have one round head that you can unscrew and one head that has a specific shape Sometimes in the logo of the brand or sometimes, uh, yeah, they can choose all variety of different shapes for it. And there's no Allen key input in there. And you can just unscrew it with only using one Allen key. So this is kind of like the, the modern standard in a way that all uh, aggressive skate companies who have plastic frames, they make special axles. And they're not really uh, interchangeable between brands. So if you have a skate, that has a plastic frame, which is also only unscrewable with only one Allen key. You need to have a frame, like a, I mean, a brand specific axle to uh, replace that axle with. Uh, if you have, uh, if you have one that uses 
two Allen keys, then you can use any generic one, like the, like the 5050 one that I mentioned. Another type of special edition axle is a rockerable axle. And the rockerable axle has uh, a little bump on one side, ne right next to the screw head. And it makes that part of the, of the, the axle a little bit of an oval. And that's the part that goes in the frame. And it means that you can put it in the frame in two different positions, up or down. An example of a brand doing that a lot is FR. Also Powerslide and Icon, they also have this type of axle. And it enables the, the, the skater to put the, the wheels in slightly different positions. And you wanna use that uh, to create a rocker. So if you do that on the outer wheels and put them up, you create a little bit of a banana shape with your wheels. And that means you can rocker back and forth on them and it makes the skate more maneuverable. So it's fun to play with. It's a cool option. Uh, it comes usually in a little bit more of the expensive uh, frames. And um, yeah, there's no real downside to it. So it's pretty cool to, to have that option. I think the first company that had that option actually was Salomon. But if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. It must be like 2004-ish, like 2005-ish, like their Salomon FSK line. I think that one was the first one to have that option. The last type of special axle is an axle used on um, frames with, um, uh, with metal walls. So it's an axle that you screw in the metal frame. And this type of axle is used to mount a brake on it. And it's special because the axle has a screw inside the axle itself. So you can put in any uh, bolt to mount the frame on and it, uh, it looks like this. So all these things that I just mentioned, all these axles, they always only come in black or silver or white. These are the three color options. And I could only find like uh, one example and that's this axle that I have laying here. This is for the old school Kaiser element frames which were released in, I don't know, like late zeros, I think somewhere. Uh, this specific one is for a, a Jeff Howard frame. It's a green axle, so it's the only colored axle that I had laying around. Uh, if you know any other colored axles, drop it in the comments. And also another thing that I want to ask you guys in the comments is um, if you know what frame company or skate company made the first axle which only needed one Allen key. I think it might have been like the the Roaches M12 in 1996, or it was the Rollerblade Dirk in about that same time period. But I don't know which one was first, or maybe I'm missing one. So let me know in the comments if you know which one was the first to only use one Excel. And then that kind of like concludes everything that I know about skate Excels. If you want to learn more about other parts of the skate we have covered, I think now every topic on like all the small details and the big details that make a skate a skate so check out our youtube channel if you want to learn more about hardware we also make videos that uh, that learn you how to skate or uh, help you choose what type of skates to choose and we make reviews on our youtube channel so check them all out we make a new video every week so consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye Frame axles, skate axles, skate axles. Sorry, I don't know, really know the word for uh, moor, bolt on this side and then just a bout and a moor. These are the Dutch names, bout, moor. True terminology, nut, that's the word. Yeah, it was the word nut that I didn't, uh... no, no, can you cut it there?